Now, the thing that really was um, shattered me and made me uh, change my life in terms of construction <coughs> happened, oh, I don't know, a third of the way maybe through my term. I don't recall the exact date. But it was, I was uh, speaking at a meeting and uh, I was passed a note and it said, please finish your talk. You must leave immediately. There's been a horrible accident. <clears throat> and I left the meeting and Frank Greer was with me who was um, a special assistant. And um, he said, well, we have to go to West Virginia, to Willow Island. <coughs> and I said, well, what's happened? They were building a cooling tower with a new methodology. And this cooling tower has collapsed. And over 50 workers have been killed. And I just couldn't believe it. And we got on a plane, went to Pittsburgh, drove down to West Virginia, not talking very much. And we got there <coughs> and we went by this little house that was at the site, a little building, and there were mostly old men and women, young women, middle-aged women, older women, and children sitting there. And they looked at me with glazed eyes. I was so taken with this. And today I want to cry when I think about it. The tower had collapsed. And they said, do you want to walk out and see where it is and where it was? And we said, yes. And we walked out this grassy stretch and um, we saw this big tall man coming toward us. Well, it was Governor Rockefeller, now Senator Rockefeller. And we shook hands and just shook our heads. About a week later, I had to go with Secretary Marshall to the White House. It's very interesting. Uh, the president said, would you stay for a few minutes? I want to talk with you. So we were standing by a desk, and he said, I want to know what happened at Willow Island. And I started to describe it, and he said it was green concrete, wasn't it? And I said, yes, Mr. President, it was. They had not tested the concrete. And you know, it's a little thing, but that was a a warm spring and it rained a lot and um, this tower the concrete layers uh, just collapsed they would pour a new layer every day and you know that they should have tested the concrete there were other things there were other problems <laughs> one of the problems was that the company this was a new type of uh, way, new way of making a cooling tower, constructing a cooling tower. And the construction, um, the blueprints were not on site because they were afraid somebody would steal them and take the ideas.